thanks for joining me on my market report my name is Mike and if you're new to my channel or my videos well we create these videos on a daily basis and they're on mortgage rates and what impacts them on those certain days uh, sometimes it comes from the economic calendar or uh, headline news or sometimes geopolitical but also uh, may t uh, in certain instances it may happen where uh, the sentiment changes where sometimes good news is now bad news and if you're on the sidelines and not aware of it, well, you may be a little confused as to what's going on here. And we try to get into describing, uh, at least explaining what's going on here so that way you guys have a better understanding. If you're looking to refinance or purchase, you might be following rates, so you might be uh, trying to figure out what's going on here. And, uh, and hopefully these videos will help you make an informed decision for yourselves. A little bit about myself is I'm a loan officer. I do work with the National Lender. Uh, we're here to assist you in any capacity, whether if you're looking to refinance or purchase, we'd love to be able to help you with that. But not only that, but we can also be a resource for you uh, here to answer any questions you might have, whether it could be questions about mortgage rates or mortgage programs or a process out there, uh, what's going on out there. We're here to help you guys out here. So hopefully uh, if you guys have any questions, please uh, pose those questions. We're here to answer anything just post on the social media site you found this video on and we will get those answered for you folks uh, if you're looking to refinance or purchase again just reach out to us uh, we'll, we'll be in touch and uh, we, uh, we'll figure out a way to uh, communicate but uh, again uh, we can do loans in all 50 states so uh, if you're in a different state please uh, feel free to reach out to us anytime but uh, without further ado, why don't we jump right into the economic calendar. Uh, if you were with us yesterday, you know that uh, this is this week is jobs reports. Uh, we had the ADP yesterday, and then today we'll get the initial jobless claims, and then tomorrow we'll get the BLS, which is the Bureau of Labor Statistics, with the non-farm payrolls and uh, unemployment rate. So uh, we did get an announcement of the challenger layoffs. So these are kind of announced layoffs. So we did see a slight increase in that uh, from the month of January. Uh, the jobless claims, last week's report, these come on a weekly basis every Thursday. Uh, this was slightly risen, revised higher uh, to uh, from 260 to 261. Forecast is coming for 245,000 this week, and it came a little bit less at 238,000. Now, continued claims, uh, was slightly, last week's report was slightly revised lower from 1.675 million to 1.672 million. Forecast is coming for 1.62. And it came in uh, a little bit closer, close to expectation. It did lower, which is good news, uh, but came in at 1.628. Now, uh, we got the first look of our uh, labor costs uh, for the Q4. Uh, last quarter, uh, third quarter, was at nine, was slightly revised lower to, from 9.6 to 9.3%, which is obviously a huge boost, and that's part of the whole concern about inflation. And it went... Forecasted for the third quarter was at one and a half, and it came in much, 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 much lower at, uh, fourth quarter at 0.3 percent. So obviously that's good news at, uh, on inflationary data here. Now we also got productivity. Our first look of that, uh, we'll get our final readings in March on these, but uh, we'll, each month we'll get a, a look for any possible revisions. But the third quarter uh, was revised slightly better from uh, being down 5.2 percent to just 5 percent. Forecast was supposed to be 3.2% for the fourth quarter, and it came in much hotter at 6.6%. So not only did labor costs go down, but uh, productivity went up. Uh, so that was a very good sign right there. Uh, then we also got ISM non-manufacturing uh, PMI for the month of January. This is uh, the services industry. So anything about 50 is still considered expansion. It went from uh, back in December, it had a revision to slightly better from 62 to 62.3%. However, forecasts are calling for a dip. Uh, a lot of it has to do with the Omicron at 59.5 to 59.9. So it didn't quite uh, go as low as the forecast, but uh, still it dropped a bit. And a lot of this, of course, is due to the Omicron. And people are affected by this are primarily the uh, retail and uh, uh, hospitality, you know, the different the restaurants and stuff. People, these uh, are the ones that were mostly affected as people kind of stayed away uh, for the most part, uh, out of concern of the Omicron variant. Last but not least, we got the factory orders for the month of December. So in November, we had a slight revision again. Uh, obviously, today we got a lot of revisions here. Went up from 1.6% to 1.8%. And forecast for the December was uh, a drop of 0.2%, but it came in a little bit worse at uh, a drop of 0.4%. Uh, 
Now, uh, on the headline news, uh, we had a couple of um, uh, announcements, uh, one from the Bank of England, which had the, probably the most impact on us uh, here, especially on our mortgage-backed securities, uh, where they did a rate increase. They went from a quarter, uh, like the, similar to our Fed funds rate, from uh, their rates, uh, what short-term rates, from a quarter to half a percent, so they raised it by a quarter percent. And then uh, Christian Lagarde for the ECB basically uh, set the expectations that uh, due to basically uh, inflation, that she's, they're basically setting up for March when they'll go ahead and raise their rates. So basically, uh, they're all in line to start raising rates, just like we're expecting a rate hike in uh, March. Uh, ECB will most likely will be hiking rates in March. So stocks are in negative territory. The other thing uh, for stocks was uh, Meta, uh, the parent for Facebook, uh, came in uh, with very disappointing results. I think they're down, last month check, 25%. Uh, a lot of that had to do, uh, and they also are painting a, a forecast of uh, more gloom and doom, so to speak, for them. So, uh, but regardless, uh, that, that's where the stock market is at today. And of course, you know, as I mentioned, uh, the Bank of England raising their rates uh, that uh, that affected us here. So, uh, we'll touch on it. But it, uh, yields did shoot up here. That's what's kind of dry, pushing the uh, mortgage rates lower. So we're down about 33 basis points, which translates to worse pricing today. And uh, here's the volatility of the day. Basically, after the announcement of it, it just dropped, as you can see. We tried rebounding a little bit, come back. It just kept more or less staying the same pattern here. But it pretty much dropped as soon as the Bank of England announced that quarter drop. And then the yields start up. Uh, Rising, uh, so did the mortgage rates uh, start going up as a result of that as well. So uh, that came a little bit of a surprise uh, for a lot of people here. And let's take a quick peek here at the treasuries we mentioned. Uh, so we had a decent day. We did test, kind of, for the most part, test that 25 day moving average and that technical floor. However, basically almost came unchanged. And now we just shot up past the new technical ceiling and up to 1.83 right now on the uh, Treasury here. Lastly, we'll uh, go ahead and cover the uh, average rate for the month of, or, I'm sorry, average rate for conforming loan limits. Uh, they do have points built in. Uh, right now it's at 3.66 today, and the 15 years at 2.95. So we have been seeing these rise pretty steadily over the past several months, uh, especially the biggest uh, spikes were in January. Uh, but Regardless, uh, these do have points built in, so these aren't like a one size fit off. If you've been following my videos, we don't go ahead and now uh, uh, rates or have a lot of variables that go into quoting a rate, and uh, sometimes have points and not points. So there's a lot of different variables into it. So if you guys like a rate quote, just go ahead and uh, reach out. We could uh, help you with that as well. Uh, it, it, so we're pretty much at a wrap here. If, uh, if you guys like these videos, please help us out. We greatly appreciate you guys helping us out. Uh, smash that like button. Please go ahead and uh, share us. We greatly uh, appreciate you guys taking the time to review. And uh, we thank you. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you guys in uh, tomorrow's video. Uh, also, if you guys got questions, we're here. Uh, go ahead and answer. Uh, go ahead and ask those questions. We're here to answer those. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.